Riley and Octavia, some people feel like this project could impact the medical access on the island. Others worry that too much development may be an issue in the area. The proposed medical village would include a large medical office, park, retail space, and a multifamily dwelling unit above office spaces. Those behind the project said it would improve the health care access in the area. I reached out to the Medical University of South Carolina, MUSC, and they referred me to a previous statement from CEO Patrick Calloway reading in part quote our team supports any project or proposed project that is aligned with the local barrier islands community and helps to address health care and wellness needs in a non-duplicative manner but some charleston county council members worry the proposed complex might be going too far in a thursday night county council meeting members voted four out of three to disapprove of the development for the time being county council member teddy Pryor is one of the four that opposed the development saying thursday night that that a project of this scale could be a slippery slope. I want us to be careful when we go down a slippery slope because this could backfire and cause us a whole lot of headaches. So I think the gentleman has, you know, uh, scaled down the project. He's done some things, but some community members just don't want anything. Uh, they want it, but they don't want it there. And so that's why I'm not going to support this motion. Tonight's meeting will begin at 630. Reporting live in North Charleston, I'm Delilah James. Count on two.